Well, if you think about it, it's kind of like, why do we do minimally invasive surgery? We're trying not to invade the body and expose it to an inflammatory situation uh, as least as possible. So when you take all of your blood that's been going through your body that it knows, and suddenly it's going through a bunch of plastic tubing and artificial filters and artificial oxygenators, uh, you create an inflammatory response. Uh, it could be very small and negligible. There's a lot of patients that could tolerate that, and there's no question about that. Unfortunately, there's patients that can't, or the risk of going on the pump would be very dire to either their kidneys that don't like the pump, or potential for stroke. With that, by doing the beating heart, you don't want to do it only when you absolutely need it because you're not using your hands in a beating heart fashion. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, almost a symphony between anesthesia, who's maintaining the patient's physiology while you're working on the beating heart, and the heart surgeon and his assistant. And so when you do it regularly every day, it's, it's no different than brushing your teeth. If you do it once a month or once every other month, um, because the patient really absolutely would, needs to have it, that's a problem for the patient. So we see a benefit for every patient, avoiding the complexity of the heart-lung machine, the artificial uh, potential uh, inflammatory response to the heart-lung machine. So why not just apply that to everybody? Uh, and then when the patient really needs it, it's just another day. Like any surgery, arrhythmias, bleeding, infection, pneumonia, for, for any type of heart surgery, they're all very similar. Um, so I quote the same risk for all. A little higher risk with stroke with the machine and a higher risk for renal insufficiency with the machine. Um, but overall, those are your big risks with heart surgery.